Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Um, you've had a few days break from me um, as I've been a bit under the weather uh, and no one wants to listen to 10 minutes of me croaking on and on. So uh, yeah, I'm back. Um, I'm currently in the, uh, the middle of editing the Q&A video, um, but one thing I wanted to go into a bit more depth about because it's something that a few people have asked about um, is my opinions on uh, casino streamers, uh, casino affiliates, people who make um, gambling videos for YouTube and then obviously profit off the back of that by getting you to sign up through their affiliate casino links. Um, now, there's two factors to this really. Firstly, what do I think of you know the business of making videos for profit uh, and promoting casinos you know for your own gain? And secondly, what do I think of it in terms of a gambling recovery? You know, is it is it harmful to be watching these videos or can it actually be part of your recovery? So if you look firstly at the casino streamers themselves, um, now my opinion is likely to be different to a lot of yours out there um, and it's, it's very possible that I'm going to divide opinion again. But personally, and I am a little bit conflicted here because I did and still do watch some of the streamers. I also know, albeit by a, a degree or two of separation, um, some of the, the streamers because um, I used to move in, in similar circles uh, when I back in my days when I was, I was playing fruit machines and what have you. So uh, I am a little bit conflicted in that respect, um, but I'll be as honest as I can be. And what I will say um, is there are, you know, I think there's positives and, and negatives. I don't sing i don't blame the individual streamers i don't think firstly they're not doing anything wrong um although by the sounds of it youtube seem do seem to be clamping down a lot on uh gambling streamers and on casino streamers so this might be a complete irrelevance soon if uh, if they continue to do so and these channels continue to disappear um but i don't have any issues personally with the, the guys making these videos with the exception of those that are misleading people. So they're the people that are using fake funds, you know, using money given to them by the casino with ridiculous sort of terms on them so they can't actually withdraw the money and things like that. Um, those that are in any way misrepresenting their gambling, so they're only showing the wins and or they're actually manipulating the video to make the, the outcome seem that much more positive than it actually is. Uh, I do, of course, have an issue with those because it's it's dishonest. It's promoting something using dishonesty. It's a, it's akin to promoting a, a product in an advert and making all sorts of false claims about it. That when obviously the person then pays the money to get the product, they you know they'll realise that the claims are false. Um, so yeah, providing they're created in a an honest way, uh, not misrepresenting gambling to the people who are watching these videos, then I have no issues with the people themselves. If I said I did. Like I say, it would be hypocritical of me, um, mainly because if I had the option to have done this back when I was playing um, casino games online, uh, if I had thought of this, if I got onto that bandwagon early on, knew that firstly I could pay, play for free, I could effectively gamble for free, and actually I could make a living off of gambling, which I was doing anyway, then in all honesty, I would have, I would have done it, you know? Um, so it would be incredibly hypocritical of me to turn around and say I blame these guys. Because let's face it, the guys that are doing this and profiting off it, if they didn't do it, there would be someone else lining up to take their place, wouldn't they? You know, if the, the likes of the Bandits and the Rock and Rollers and the Craig, Craigs and Jimbos of this world, if they didn't do what they did, someone else would come along and do it. So, you know, they're just, they are... Yes, they are exploiting potentially people's gambling losses, but that's only really what I believe the casinos are doing anyway. It just means that the profit that the, the casinos are making is is being split differently. So rather than the casinos spending a load of money on advertising and putting up TV ads to get people in, the, the, the streamers are doing it for them and they're taking a cut of the revenue. So it's, it's a business. Um, I don't like the online casino business. I think... I don't think there's any real positives to it. I, you know, I think actually as a society, we'd be better off without it, but it's here. It's going to exist, whatever. People are going to gamble online, whatever. The people who are promoting this through, you know, YouTube videos, through their affiliate links and everything else, they're just taking advantage of 
you know, a, an industry that if they weren't doing it, somebody else would be. And I would actually say the same for the online casinos themselves. You know, there's hundreds of online casinos now. And if those particular key casinos didn't exist, then they just others would open up, wouldn't they? So again, I don't even blame the businesses that are doing this. But I do think it's a bad thing. You know, I'm not defending online casinos full stop, but the businesses and the people promoting the businesses, personally, there's no point in having personal issue with them. They are literally just making a living off something for which there is demand. You know, I, I, think, I don't think people would gamble on online casinos any less if there were fewer of them. It's just more of them would take a greater proportion of the market. So that kind of is what it is, really. Um, so, yeah, it does sound like a bit of a cop-out, doesn't it? A lot of people probably would have expected me to come out and say, you know, oh, fuck those guys, you know, profiting off our losses, and they are. You know, I'm not, I'm not defending that. That is how affiliation works. You sign up through their links, and by and large, they're going to get some of your, your losses, aren't they? And... Morally, is that right? Is that wrong? Is it any more wrong than you signing up for a casino based on the fact you saw an ad word in Google or the fact they advertised on TV? It's no, I, I don't see it really being any different. You're not going to lose more money because you signed up through someone's affiliate link than if you just signed up off your own bat. It just means that you know the way the money's split is, is different. So that's, that's my opinion on that. Now, you, feel free to tell me I'm wrong. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who really can't abide the streamers, um, like I say, it, it would be hypocritical of me to, to really lay into them because had I thought of this first or got on the boat at the right time, I probably would have done it myself, to be completely honest with you. Um, and, and that's what my channel's based on, is honesty. So, Secondly, do I think that these videos are good for recovery or could they adversely affect your, your gambling um, if you're trying to stop gambling? Again, all I can do is give you my personal experience. When I was gambling, I watched these videos and I watched them, you know, a lot. Um, and when I stopped gambling, I didn't stop watching the videos. I kept watching the, the, the stream of videos. Um, I kept watching, you know, the, um, the live streams and all the rest of it. Um, and I am successfully five months since my last lapse, but in total about 18 months clear of gambling, like I say, bar, bar those few, couple, of, couple of few lapses. Um, so I don't know. Is my and I can, again, I can only be honest. Um, I've continued to watch the videos, and it hasn't. I'll be honest; it hasn't really raised any urges in me to to go out and to sign up and and to gamble myself. What I said, and I did make a video on this not a huge amount of time ago, um, which I would link in the description, and I might still do. But to be honest, I say a lot of the same things. Um, what I would say is that if you are quitting gambling and you're not watching these videos and you're doing all right, don't think that watching these videos is, is going to be a positive. Don't think it's necessarily going to scratch the gambling itch because actually you're running the risk of reigniting you know, the gambling demon in your head by watching these videos and by, by bringing gambling, I think, to the, the forefront of your, your mind. Um, Andy Margit actually said something in his recent live stream, and I recommend you watch that if you haven't done already. Uh, and I don't know whether it was aimed at me it's very possible it was um he was saying about the dangers of trying to help other people too much uh and you know before you've really sort of concentrated on helping yourself with regards to gambling because you're keeping gambling at the forefront of your mind which is absolutely true and that's after why after my last lapse I took a quite a tight bit of time off making these videos because I really needed to to try and get that gambling out of my mind now at the moment all seems well but as I said before if I do find myself having increased thoughts of gambling, then I may have to, again, take a, a bit of a break from, from making these videos. So big shout out to Andy. Um, like I said, I don't know whether that was aimed at me, mate, but if it was, you're absolutely fair enough. You know, I need to need to make sure I'm, I'm all good before I, I, I concentrate too much on helping other people. But anyway, I'm going back to my point about these videos. If you don't have you know, if, if you haven't been watching these videos and you, you get getting urges, don't think that these videos are necessarily going to scratch that itch because they could make things a lot, lot worse. If you're currently using them as part of your recovery and you think they're helping, then keep watching them is what I'd say. I always think with recovery, if you're, something you're doing is working, <coughs> excuse me, then stick with it. If it, just, if it proves not to work, and I've done this many times, if something proves not to work or you realise that something actually was was there enabling you or encouraging you to gamble,
then once you get back on the horse, then eliminate that from your recovery. Do something different. But if you're watching them and they're not causing any problems, my personal experience is they haven't led me back to gambling. But I can only share with you guys what I've experienced, you know, and, and what I believe. So that's that's that covered off. Um, like I said, the rest of the questions that people have left me, and I'll probably touch on this again in, in that video. I'm I've done the the, the Q and A video for this needs to be edited and stuff. So hopefully that'll go up very soon. Um, but I just wanted to sort of cover off a bit more about my opinions on affiliates. Uh, like I say, it's it's very likely to be unpopular. Um, a lot of people with the Fob T videos thought I was actually defending bookies, uh, and I wasn't. Um, you know, I I for one, and I, I make myself very clear on this. I would have absolutely no issue with every bookmaker disappearing overnight. Obviously, I'd have a little bit of sympathy for, you know, the staff. But if Fob T's disappeared overnight, and you know, Fob T's were scrapped altogether, you know, that can I think that could only be a good thing based on the social damage they cause. But people tend to think that me saying that I believe that by and large Fob T games were random. People thought I was defending the bookmakers, and I wasn't defending the bookmakers. I have no time for bookies whatsoever. And in this, I'm not necessarily defending casino affiliation or online casinos, but I'm just saying I don't personally have an issue with the people themselves because ultimately if they weren't doing it, somebody else would be doing it, wouldn't they? And there's obviously a demand for it. So, But we shall see with, with the new YouTube rules and stuff. We'll see how much longer they keep going. So let me know your thoughts. Anyway, I've rambled on a lot. Appreciate you guys watching the videos as always. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon, guys.